Your child's school may be having trouble hiring enough teachers this year. Now, that's nothing new. The teacher shortage has been going on for several years now, mostly because of low stagnant wages. Denver 7's Brandon Richard shows how one Denver Metro District is addressing that challenge and how it's paying off. Well, finding good quality teachers is a challenge for nearly every school district and Colorado school districts not only have to compete with each other, but they have to compete with school districts in states across the country. And that's not always easy to do considering there is a nationwide teacher shortage. But this year, Cherry Creek schools decided to up their game. We were probably one of the lowest starting teacher salaries in the metro area. Like a lot of school districts, Cherry Creek schools were struggling to attract new teachers. District leaders like Brenda Smith believe a starting salary of just 44000 was a big reason why. It was becoming harder and harder to recruit brand new teachers into the profession in order for them to be able to actually afford and live within the Cherry Creek boundaries. But this year, things are different. Working with the teachers union, district leaders were able to increase salaries for first year teachers to 58,000. New teachers here in the Cherry Creek Schools District are now among the highest paid in the region. And district leaders say the higher pay has helped them fill positions a lot more quickly this year. This year, we were able to fill almost all of our positions before school started. Other districts may not be so lucky. The Colorado Education Association found 9% of teaching positions across the state went unfilled last year. State lawmakers tried easing the burden, passing the Interstate Teacher Mobility Compact to make it easier and faster for teachers from out of state to get their teaching licenses in Colorado. The law took effect earlier this month. Smith says the work can't end there, especially since Colorado ranks in the bottom half for teacher pay, according to the National Education Association. It's almost impossible to live in the state of Colorado when you are below 50,000. In Greenwood Village, Brandon Richard, Denver 7. And going in depth tonight, many teachers use part of their salary to buy supplies for their classrooms, but now the state of Colorado is taking steps to help cover those costs. The State Department of Education has secured $11 million in funding just for classroom supplies, and that money comes from federal COVID-19 relief funds. Teachers can apply and receive up to $800 if they're approved. The program is giving out the money on a first-come, first-served basis.